She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. There, you see, my mother doesn't love me. Why should she? she? She wants excitement and romance and younger men. And here I am already 25. <laughs> when I'm not around, she's only 32. When I am, she's 43 and she hates me for it. Besides, she knows I don't approve of the theater. She adores the theater. She thinks she's serving humanity in the sacred cause of art. My opinion, theater today is boring and trite. The curtain goes up, and between these three walls, lit by artificial light, the famous actors, these high priests of art, parade around showing us how to eat and drink and love and walk and wear our clothes. And then the playwright tries to squeeze some kind of moral, some kind of little moral, all perfect and perfectly fit for human consumption. And every play repeats itself like this with only infinitesimal variation. It's enough to make me want to flee as Maupassant who ran from the Eiffel Tower because he knew it would poison his mind. We need a new kind of theater, Nina. We need new forms, and if we cannot have them, we are better off with no theater at all. I love my mother, but she leads such a stupid life, always fussing over that writer of hers, always getting her name in the papers. I know it's probably selfish, but Sometimes I wish I didn't have a famous actress for a mother. I think I might be a lot happier if only she were a ordinary mortal. Can you imagine what it's like for me at home with her, Nina? How I must feel. The living room is always filled with famous actors and writers, and the only nobody there is me. And who am I? What am I? I'm my mother's son, and that is the only reason they put up with me. I mean, I left university my third year owing to circumstances, as they say, beyond our control. I have no talent. I haven't a kopeck to my name. My passport says I am a bourgeois of Kiev. <laughs> That's my social position. My father was a bourgeois of Kiev, only he also happened to be a famous actor. So when these famous actors and writers and musicians in my mother's living room ever happen to notice me, all I can think of is how they're measuring my insignificance. It's like I can get inside their minds, and all I can feel is agony.